Hello the internet! It is Wednesday the 24th of January 2018. Look what's happening here. Why are you making cookies Claudia? Because I'm making up to you. You're what? I'm making up to you. Why are you making up? Because I need to come with a pizza. She's talking very gently and quietly there because she's embarrassed about what she did. But look what she did. We made these, ah, oh, she's covered them now. We made these lovely pizzas last night for dinner. I'll put a little picture so you can see what we actually made. And then it was her job to clear the table and she just chucked the pizzas in the fridge here, didn't cover them. And now they're all rock hard. At least she's covered them now. And she's making an attempt to redeem herself by making special cookies. Felicia, are you helping here? Assisting? Yeah. Yeah? Taste yes. it. And you can see Baxter right there with a tennis racket. He's keen to go down and hit some tennis balls. We did have a game yesterday. He has gotten so much better as a tennis player. So we're going to go down and have a real game today. Like I'm going to put shoes on. Yesterday I played in thongs and didn't really think much of it. And he, he got very good. So I'm putting some shoes on. Then let's play a full round of tennis, yeah? Okay, bye. <laughs> Leave them to it. Hey Baxter, why do we cover food that goes in the fridge? So it doesn't go hard. I'm not upset, but I'm a little upset. We spent so long yesterday. We made such beautiful pizzas. I did like strand style pizzas. We made like a Dijon base. We marinated the chicken in lemon. We went to town with this stuff. And then the kids. Now the thing here is we're going to sneak into the tennis courts because there's a little hole cut in the side. What happens if there's people using the courts? If we try to get in, they'll kick us out. If there's people there, we can't use them. But we're going to try. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, no one's in the courts. Hi Jess. Oh, hello. Hello. That's what we wanted to see. Nobody playing tennis so we can get in there and have a bit of a hit. However, if someone does turn up and they have the key and they're accessing and paying, then we do have to vacate. I don't encourage this. You dibs first serve. All right, Baxter, I want a fair game. I want a good game. Shake my hand. All right, I'm shaking a finger there. Fifteen love. Spin like that, I got him! Yeah! Juice! Ow. It's really difficult to serve like the tennis players serve. Ow. Double fault! Double fault! That was that's it's this line, isn't it? No. Oh, is it this line? Yeah. Oh, well that was out, yeah, yeah. So I just won a game! I just won a game! I just won that game and I didn't even know! I just won that game! It's three games apiece. This guy's really good. I'm not very good. I'm really enjoying it though. He's really good. I need to get a drink. Did you see that? I played tennis. Oh, that's a Mali! A Mali? I was gonna say that. I did say that's a Mali. I was trying to say that's a rally in a match. I said that's a Mali. I got no breath. This is fun. Oh. Ah! Oh. Game! I believe in the technical terms, I broke his serve to win the game. Four games to three. What happened? The ball went through my hand. Oh, you suck. Game. Game to me. Did you see that? I played tennis. I'm actually really enjoying this. I never thought I would like tennis this much. And it's not because I'm playing against a 10 year old. He's actually extremely good. And I think we're a pretty good match. Do you not? Yeah, I haven't. Huh? You hit puberty, I haven't. Oh, <laughs> I hit puberty. Oh! Are you okay? You didn't 
see that, Mr. GP? I came for the ball like this, and it went past my racket and hit me clean in the eye socket. Oh, wee. That wasn't fun. Good game, man. How many games is that now? Two. Two games all in the second set. Oh, one of these again. Yeah! I think he broke me. Oh, you bitch! Yes! Oh! Yes! What the hell? What a rally, hey! That was awesome! Oh, no! Game fed on. You see his frustration? That's because I won the game on a break, and I think that means something good! Yeah, I'm not sure what, but I think it means good! That was already out when I hit it. Because I went to hit it thinking it was going to hit the uh, camera. We just went to the video ref. I thought that that last shot was just on this side of the line. And we just set up the GH5 and it clearly showed. No, not clear. It was really close. That's your point, man. Come on! Did you see that? Did you see that? That was good. That was very good. He puts a certain spin on those back shots. When I went to get it, it bounced the other way and I'm like, oh, this is the fourth time we've gone to the use. Oh my God! I'd say by his outburst, he's quite upset. Look, I watch too much tennis on television. Actually, I don't watch any at all, but what I have seen, the professional tennis players are massive ego maniacs. That's what I'm trying to do right now. All this stuff, it's got nothing to do with the game, but it works. Because I am winning. Next time Bennon does a volley, I'm gonna hit it straight at him so it's in an awkward position. Juice! Anyone want some juice? I took the game, I took the game, I really took it. He had a chance, but I took it. I took the... I took the game. Where we are right now in the game, folks, is... 6-3, first set, Uncle Benny's leading, and then 6-5, me on serve, in the second set. What that means to tennis players is this next series of passings of the ball will determine who wins. And I'm hoping it finishes at this because I am totally knackered. How long have we been playing for, dude? It's almost two hours now we've been hitting this little yellow ball across this big, vast net. Schnell! Wow, Baxter, you got some attitude, man. Well played. Not only did he not shake my hand, he's taking my beverage. I took I shook your hand. <laughs> Have a sip. Well, he is a very good tennis player. To make me struggle like that, what am I talking about? I can't even play tennis. We've got our fan club have arrived. I hope they brought beer. Do you guys bring beer? No. While we've been flinging that tennis ball over those nets, 
These girls have been cooking the cookies. They're looking nice, girls. Womb fern. Eyelashes. <laughs> You've been teaching her Deutsch? Yeah. And how are the cookies? Lecker. Can I? Ah, sehr lecker. Sehr gut. Can you cover? Very nice. I'm looking forward to getting in the ocean. Extremely hot and sweaty. This ocean could not be any more appealing than right now. When you're hot and sweaty after playing tennis, Claudia's taking her time. Felicia's not coming in. That's all right. They can take their time. I'm going to tell you about NSD. NSD. This episode is Waxhead. Waxhead are a punky, rocky, surfy, Aussie band from Byron Bay. I've only photographed them once, 2014 at the World Bar. On my Across the Ocean website, I get sent music. I got sent their EP, it was called Home. I really enjoyed the track Home, so I went and saw them, took photographs. They're lovely dudes. Since 2014, I'm not 100% certain what this band has done, if anything. I think they brought out a full lenther. Not 100% certain, but if you like the photos from the World Bar in 2014, use this coupon code. Gives a minute hyphen waxhead, and the link in the description of this video will tell you where to use that coupon code, and you will get 15% off the prints from these photos. <laughs> Get this wax head NSD off! You know how sweaty this is? It's all stuck to my skin. Ah, that's better. It's my wax head NSD over there. <laughs> These kind of ocean conditions are a bit inducive to a shore dump. You might get dumped on the shore! The waves just suck up and smack right down here on the sand. You can see it building up right here. Look at this. That's all I needed to refresh. I feel great now. They'll stay in there getting dumped. I'll keep an eye on them from the shore. We've already seen the wonders that Felicia did with my hair. How do you feel, Baxter? Tired. <laughs> How do you feel, I mean, about the haircut, you wombat? Tired. Did you have any idea that this holiday would also be a working holiday? Yeah. Not just my hair. I We're going to have Tim's hair. I'll just let you get into it. I think she's annoyed with me. That's for you. That's a tool that you need. Yeah. I made that the German mix. Yeah. I tasted it. I'm gonna get mine. Wow, that is a good mix. <gasps> the right amount of jacks, to the right amount of coke, to the right amount of ice, into the right, right glass. <laughs> this guy's in a good mood, even though I whipped his ass in tennis this no, morning. No, you did not. Hello. I look like a nerd. Apparently my eyes red. What? Which eye? The right or left one? Your left. My left, your right. Yeah. That's that eye. It's red. Yeah. Under, under it? Nope. <laughs> Wait, no, no, don't go inside. You're covered in hair. You're going for a swim. That's the idea. A swim? I'm going for a swim. You're going for a swim. That's why we win our bodies. She yeah. said I could go style my hair. Don't go in with the hell of that, we're gonna have a swim. <laughs> Turn around, Claudical. Well, good job. Now, Felicia, what can you do with me? Clean me up? Fix me up? Yeah. Clean up. Get out of there. Now, I've been in this chair previously two and a half weeks ago so I don't need much done but there is a little bit of cleaning that could be done and I sense Felicia is just gonna jump straight in and oh she's not putting in as much care as she was the first time okay she's a little bit rougher there perhaps I'm gonna need another drink here you want a song Dora the Explorer Dora the Explorer 
Dora Dora the Explorer the Explorer Dora Dora Let's go jump in let's go I get the feeling they're gonna regret the doing that. It's going in the vlog. <laughs> Comp's still here. How, do, how does that look? How do you think that worked? Is that good? Yeah, you need the salt water. We need water, to smell it. Then. Your hair smells like. Need the salt water. Boy. Thank you for doing it again. Make me feel better and mm -hmm. look good. I hope you feel better. I what? I feel better. You feel good? Yeah. All right, then let's take a swim. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I gotta be careful about this because I don't want to get dumped onto the sand and tweak that out. <laughs> that is how you cleanse the hair off the back of your neck. Literally, after you have a haircut. Once you get a haircut, you could go and have a hot shower and cleanse, or if you're lucky enough like we are to have Culbara Beach at your exposure, at your disposal, <laughs> exposure. Then you come down here, get in the water, you cleanse yourself. Now that I've got a beautiful haircut, let's make an Aussie barbecue. Do you want to assist me making the barbecue? Mark de Grill. There's not much to an Aussie barbecue. All you do is put the heat on. When it gets hot enough, you chuck the sausages on. In the meantime, you have a drink. Prost. Where's your drink? Time for another one. Normally on an Aussie barbecue, you'd have a beer, but uh, we're having the Blanton's Bourbon. The one with a little horse on the top. You've seen the little bottle with the horse on it. It's beautiful. So, I feel fresh. I feel new. Had a great day. Played tennis. Got a haircut. Went swimming. Now we're cooking a barbecue and drinking bourbon. What could be finer? Take those. This is how to be an Australian. Take those. Just hold that in your hand and just do things with this. Yeah, just do things. See, there's, there's no real technique to this. You just do whatever you think. It's not so much about the food. It's more about the social aspect of it. Now that is all you need to do for a barbecue in Australia. But because we have the German here, I've done something a little bit extra. I've set up a second barbecue just around the way, it's a swinging barbecue on a chain. Now that in Germany is called a Schwenken, and the motion of the swaying is called Schwenkel. And if you watch my vlogs, you will know about this because of Tracer and the Raw Republic and touring and Schwenken. Mike has a tattoo across his belly called Schwenken. You would have seen that if you've watched my vlogs. I wanna take these sausages across to the Schwenken and finish them off in a swinging motion just for you, Felicia. Does that make you so feel nice. at home? Mm -hmm. Let's go there and add these to the Schwenken right now. Oh, that's um... We're out of time! Schwenken! Oh, that's um... I ran out of time again on my vlog. If you like what you've seen on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to support me even further, become a Patreon. Also check out my previous vlog and a random vlog. Don't forget my Lightroom presets, my merch store, and all the other good things that I've got for you in the description of this video. Has that been 20 seconds? Yes, it has!